you know. Get ready to check out my amazing tracking ability. According to the map, the way into these tunnels is in a ravine at the base of the mountain. How can this be? It seems we have been walking in circles for hours. It's been 20 minutes. <laughs> Relax. We're close. You said that after your last... sniff. And I was right. seen better. Ambush? This is a slaughter. No kidding. They were trying to get inside that vault. I don't believe in coincidences. Which means... Project Guttermorter. I bet my life on it. So did they. Guess Hydra just dropped a rung or two on the bad guy food chain. Maybe so. Still. This Lillian feels different somehow. Feral. You sniff that out? We can debate the house and wise later. Get that vault open before more of these things show up. Too late for that. You're right about that. Hot garbage. Well, that is one way of describing it. I'd be more concerned with how it fights, not how it smells. Easy for you to say. It's not breathing down your neck. make it back from this one. I'm taking it.
kind of Hydra regalia since the war. Old Johan was probably hoping to hide out here if things went south. I guess he didn't make it. We have our hands full as it is without having to worry about Red Skull's too. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Coming back to me. Sealed up tight. So where are those things coming from? The way they move. These Lillen may have come from beyond our world. Walls are no obstacle to them. Just when I thought I had smelled it all. Puzzle, you? 
Things aren't that tough. You are the man with the claws. Do something about it. You ain't good enough for me. for this fight. something. gets the job done. some for the rest of us. Feel my call. Time to see if Red Skull really did hide his ultimate weapon here. Oh, no. 
talking about. Better brace yourself. <laughs> That's a real mean guard dog they got for this place. You need to look for a way out. You can't beat him in a straight fight. We'll either figure something out or die trying. You sure know how to rally the troops, Logan. Cannot possibly match your strength. I'm gonna get ya. This is a dangerous game of cat and mouse. Not so enjoyable when you are the prey, is it, Hunter? At least we are still in the hunt. You have already been consumed. of us.
look like you saw a ghost. There is no... to the mother of demons will be your undoing. Once again, the lift servants fall. Some doomsday prophecy or ancient evil with you guys. Almost makes me miss Magneto. <laughs> now for something real special. <laughs> Just what I need. You do not know who I am, do you? I wish I could tell you we had some kind of air support or evac on the way. Maybe our only chance. That ain't a chance, kid. It's a monster. So come on, ugly. Let's finish this. Finish this, Logan. <laughs> yes, I will.
Hunter, come to the forge when you can. It's urgent. What's up, Hunter? The occult emanations coming from this god killer are unlike anything I have ever encountered. When I gripped it, I saw a face. The face of Cthon. Mm, yes, I suspected as much. The darkness I sense here is beyond the realm of mortals. It's no surprise Red Skull was seeking that level of power. This is more than just an artifact. But whatever it is could represent a change in the direction of our battle against Lilith. The best way to understand power is to wield it. It is called God Killer for a reason. And what if that power consumes you and turns you against us? What if this thing was really a trap, designed to ensnare the power mad and foolish? I do not know. Hmm. And we cannot take that chance. I think the safest option is to keep it here in the forge for a bit longer. At least until I've had a chance to study it more. I don't think anyone should handle it until we know what it is for sure. Very well. And how long do you think that will take? Well, I think the world will be ending soon, so... Hopefully before that. I need to consult my grimoires. Check back with me when you can. When I woke up this morning, the Red Skull was the furthest thing from my mind. Yet now it seems he's a key player, even from beyond the grave. In my experience, the grave is but a way station, not a destination. Every time I think I've got my mind wrapped around this conflict, I get thrown a curveball. You are trying too hard to grasp it. That is the problem. You will never understand. Hey, cut me a little slack, Hunter. I've been around a while and I've seen some things. I think I can make sense of what's going on with Red Skull and Lilith. My mother's ambitions began long before you existed, and the forces at play even predate her. This is not just good and bad. It is reality versus the Abyss. Kind of a bleak outlook, don't you think? We just retrieved an ancient artifact called the God Killer that was in the possession of a man whose head resembled a red skull. Things have been bleak for a long time. I'd hope the red skull's death would help bring about a brighter world. I guess I was wrong. Earlier, you mentioned the red skull was drawn to the occult. Like a fly to a rotting carcass. How much do you know about World War II? I did not realize there was a World War I. I'll just sum it up. Red Skull was a man whose ambition knew no limits. And when our world didn't give him enough, he looked beyond it for even more power. A very dangerous man indeed. And we're all safer that he's no longer among the living. Safety is an illusion. Just because none of us have died does not mean it will not happen in the next couple of minutes. It's amazing you can sleep through the night with an attitude like that. I see safety as a default state. Yes, it's fragile, occasionally threatened by the forces of darkness, but with a little luck and determination, they can always be beaten back. I wish I could share your optimism. It's the only thing that got me through my battles with Red Skull and others. I wonder how the Red Skull came to share my mother's obsession with Cthon anyway. Oh, I'm sure he tried to find your mother to help him. All part of his Project Gutmorder. My mother never would have allowed him to share her power. Well, I don't think he got that blade just to put it under glass, if you know what I mean. He planned to use it, all right. Now we just need to figure out why Crossbones wanted me to have it. Whatever the Red Skull wanted with that weapon, it wasn't good. No 
need to poke. What? What is this about the God Killer? The hilt? It looks a lot like the metal your collar is forged from. Or Chalcom. How can that be? I'm not sure it is. It's just a hunch. Strange should examine it. See if my hunch is right. Because if it is, the God Killer might be our best shot at taking my sister's life, putting an end to all this madness. Is that not what we all want? An end to this? There's only 2.5 members of the Blood left in all creation, Hunter. If we... when we defeat her, my only sister will be dead, and our kind will be nearly extinct. If that is the price of peace, so be it. I know, but still. She is my sister. And my mother. We must not have any reservations about what we are about to do. <sighs> I raised you well. You raised me to be a weapon. I raised you to be who you are. To serve your purpose. And I'm proud of you for fully embracing it. I appreciate that, Sarah. <sighs> Perhaps we shouldn't get ahead of ourselves too much. We're not even sure the handle of that blade is made of orichalcum. Strange will find out. Make sure he does. This chapel brings back some old memories. How? Your first time at the Abbey was when Peter and I brought you here. True. It's just this place reminds me of the church where we fought Dracula. I know what you mean. I find places like this calming. Oh, I wish I felt the same. For me, they conjure up sorrow. Anger. What happened exactly? Remember how I told you I used to be a reporter? Yes, like Peter. I'm nothing like Parker. That boy exploited his heroism to make cash taking blurry photos. I was a journalist. I wanted to mix it up on the streets, uncover the types of corruption that exploits the little guy, speak truth to power and all that jazz. Does that work? Do words have that much power? Wait, are you serious? Your mother tried to unleash a world-devouring elder god by reading a book. Fair point. I wasn't trying to do anything that ambitious. But I thought I could make a difference. Unfortunately, at some point, I lost my way. Cut a few corners with an important story. Didn't double-check my sources. And ended up embarrassing myself publicly. I lost my job. That sounds hard, Eddie. After my father disowned me, I ended up at a church that looked a bit like this chapel. Looking for a new start? Looking to end it all, actually. But that's when I was saved by a higher power. Sounds like you had an almost spiritual experience? You could say that. I say, I found myself. On that day, the symbiote and I united. And we vowed to become something better. 
A lethal protector who safeguarded innocence. On that day, we became Venom. I heard you also tried to murder Spider-Man. Eh, trust me, he had it coming. Quite a view out here, Logan. You know, I didn't always go by Logan. Or Wolverine, for that matter. Once upon a time, they used to call me Weapon X. Not exactly warm and cuddly, eh? Tough. Deadly. It suits you. Maybe so. But sometimes... I wonder how things would have turned out for me if I had been given a different name. You know, something softer, like... Bob, or Moonchild. You ever think how your whole destiny got laid out the minute they named you Hunter? Hunter is what they call me, and that is what I am proud to be. <laughs> Good on you, then. You're sure doing a lot of hunting these days. I think you got lucky with somebody like Caretaker watching out for you. I suppose her name is fitting, then. I'd have killed to have someone like Caretaker in my life. One way or another, I've lost everybody I ever cared about. That must have been hard on you. For a while, yeah. But lately, I've been feeling like I'm getting my edge back. Like when I was younger. Oh? What changed? Uh, could be a lot of things. Maybe I've been eating better... Maybe it's some kind of weirdo Abbey magic at work. Or maybe it's the fact that I somehow managed to make a new friend. I am heartened to hear you feel like you are getting your edge back, Logan. Just keep pointing me at the bad guys and we'll get along great. I ain't had a real teammate I could count on since I took a break from the X-Men. How is it? It's kind of nice. What are you doing out here, Wanda? Was feeling nostalgic and wanted to visit some old haunts. This is where it all started, you know. Where Agatha decided to take me under her wing and teach me all the magic tricks I wasn't supposed to know. Agatha was daring, often taking risks on people. You mean, taking risks on people she shouldn't? That is not what I meant. I know. Sorry, it's just... I still feel responsible for her not being here. She always believed in you, you know. Talked about you all the time. There was a lot of pressure to live up to your legend. Wanda, what was Agatha teaching you exactly? I'm not so sure you want to know, or I want to tell you. Either way, I'd rather there be no secrets between us. Secrets have a way of eroding trust. Yeah, they do, and you're right. Okay, here it goes. Agatha thought I could prevent the Midnight Sun. Prevent the prophecy. She said that? 
I think, I think she was training me to be, um, to be you. Wait, wait. Do you mean to say she was training you to be the hunter? To be me? Basically, yes. But there can only be one hunter. I know that. It wasn't like she was trying to replace you. It's just... You were dead, and I was the only one who she thought was... Powerful enough to take on Lilith? Boy, was she wrong, huh? Luckily for us all, Nico managed to resurrect you. So now it's not all left to me to screw up. And believe me, Hunter, I would have screwed it up. I haven't even been able to trust myself enough to go back to the library and continue my studies. Even knowing Agatha forgives me. Wanda, you cannot continue being so afraid of your own shadow. You need to start learning to accept yourself. I know, I know. It's just... Uh, a lot of guilt and shame to work through. Wanda, you should never be ashamed of or feel guilty about your gifts. Let me help you work through your fears and become more comfortable standing in your power. You would do that for me? When I am done with you, Wanda, your knowledge of the Arcane will surpass even Dr. Spooky himself. All right, deal. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Easy enough for the Sorcerer Supreme to have... Stay out of trouble. Heads up, Hunter. Dr. Banner used to be the upside to the Hulk. They're both a complicated guy. Uh, guys, whatever. Hulk messed me up a bunch of times, but... But a demon queen twisting Dr. Banner's genius, loosening his darkest impulses, and enabling him to perform torturous experiments. Let's do this. See you around. Ah, Hunter. Good to see you. Thanks, Hunter. Hey, Hunter. Care to join our little Hulk Survivors support group? Did I ever tell you about the time the Hulk tore me in half? This sounds like a story I cannot pass up. I was in the path of a Category 5 Hulk smash storm. Big Green pulled me apart like it was wing night at his favorite pub, and I was the chicken. Well, that sounds absolutely horrible. Then Hulk threw my legs four miles away from the rest of me. What? up a snow-covered mountain. Had to claw my way to him. How did you survive? That lovely, forceful bisection put my healing factor to the test. Had to find my legs by their scent. My scent, if you catch my drift. As long as Lilith controls the Hulk, we are at a disadvantage. Yep, and we're sorely lacking in the Hulk killer department. I volunteer you, Wolverine. 
We all know what's gonna happen, Hunter. Doesn't mean I gotta be eager about it. Well, no matter what, we are sorely lacking in the Hulk Killer Department. Anytime someone wants my opinion, it means we're really screwed. Remind me not to brainstorm with you anymore. Makes sense. I'm more of a claws out kind of guy. Anyway, glad you enjoyed our little Hulk survivors group. We'll meet again if we survive him next time. After seeing Banner's soul twisted under Lilith's control, I see why Bruce used to doubt himself so much. He mistrusts the green brute because deep inside, Banner doesn't trust himself. Another thing he and I have in common. There is still hope for Banner. Yes, there is always hope. But do you think it's possible I'll ever see Bruce Banner in the same way ever again? Whenever we face Banner next, we owe it to ourselves and to him to not hold back. We will have to face him soon, won't we? I want to be ready when I do. I want to be sure of myself. You are not alone, Wanda. When the time comes, we will face your demons. Our demons. Together. Thank you, Hunter. That gives me some strength. I thought I had sensed a great power approaching, and I was right. Hydra's mystics are trying to open one of those rifts. It probably goes without saying, but we can't have them summoning abominations from the other side.
I'm not worried. Not another mystic out of the ritual. Almost there. Try something.
done it. She's not ready. We ask for too much of her sometimes. I don't want to make her do anything she's not ready for either. But we all know she's the only one who can face him. Is there anyone else here who has the power to do it? Nico, you're a badass blood witch. What about you? I might not be packing.